Greetings and welcome to the Introduction to Astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for August 13th of 2023, well, it is titled the Sombrero Galaxy in Infrared. So what do we see here? Well, this is a galaxy known sometimes as the Sombrero Galaxy or by the catalog designation of M104. And this is a relatively bright spiral galaxy, um, a smaller one than our own Milky Way, only about half the size of our Milky Way. And it's a relatively nearby galaxy, about 28 million light years away. So again, large distance, but in terms of galaxies, that's relatively close. Now we're looking at it here, not in visible light. So if you've seen the Sombrero Galaxy before, it looks it doesn't normally look like this if you're looking in visible light. The dust lane is much more prominent and you'll have more material around. What we're looking at here when we look at the infrared. Now when we look at different wavelengths, we see different things. And that's because different materials emit different types of light. A hot object like a star gives off primarily visible light. And that's what we're used to seeing. However, cooler objects such as the dust actually give off infrared light. So you and I radiate infrared light as does every other object on Earth. The objects generally do not give off visible light, although they reflect visible light. They don't give off that, that energy because they're at a much lower temperature than something like, say, our sun. So they give off infrared light. Cooler objects do do this. And that's one of the reasons we can use things like night vision goggles that detect infrared light and can detect the brighter infrared of something that's a little bit warmer, like a living body, as compared to the cooler temperatures of something that is more inanimate. Now here, when we look at that, we see the dust lane becomes much more prominent. It allows us to see the dust and in some ways to be able to study that better. That's the light that the dust is actually giving off. So it gives us a better study of this galaxy. So we're seeing the dust ring of material around the central portion of the galaxy in this case. So you can see it's almost a ring around. Now, if we looked at it in visible light, you might start to get some of the very hints of spiral structure that you would see in a galaxy like this. However, they're not going to be very prominent simply because of the way the galaxy happens to be orientated toward us. And that is that it's almost edge on. We're seeing that dust lane and the actual galaxy itself is kind of hidden. We would have to travel great distances beyond anything we are currently capable of to be able to travel to a different position in space to be able to see this galaxy as a, as a distinct spiral as we see with some other galaxies that we've looked at. However, the fact that we can see galaxies from all different orientations allows us to put together that picture of them, since we can't see any one galaxy from all different views. We can only see them from the view for how they happen to be orientated toward our, our solar system. So in order to really study them, we've got to look at galaxies that are orientated differently, and we can put together a nice statistical study of what the galaxies are actually like. So here today we get to see the Sombrero Galaxy as one example of those, a nearly edge-on galaxy, as we look at it in the infrared portion of the spectrum. So that was our picture of the day for August 13th of 2023. It was titled The Sombrero Galaxy in Infrared. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be ring strings. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.